guys good morning um today is saturday and i just got dressed don't mind this on my forehead it's a pimple patch Whew, today's fasting is going to be a tough one because i'm already hungry anyways um today is saturday and we are going grocery shopping i'm wearing a jean and sweater because what else is new that's always what i wear Whew. oh i forgot if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Amina Danjuma and I am a Nigerian YouTuber based in Canada. And if you already subscribed, welcome back. If there's something that you need to say, I know it ain't easy living inside your brain for sure. You keep telling me that it's all okay, but I know that the silence speaks so loud. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No. Down, yeah. Hey guys, good morning. Today is Monday and I think today is Easter Monday if I believe. Um, yeah, I believe today is Easter Monday. I am dressed and ready to start my day. I'm starting a bit later than I wanted to but it's all right the main thing is we're here and i am dressed because i am tired of looking like a bum i've been trying with my productivity but i've been looking like a bum the past couple of days so today i did my hair i had my bath did my skincare and now i wasn't able to upload my vlog for sunday because i basically did not plan my week properly so i did not have a vlog to post but now the vlog is edited uploaded i just want to quickly do the thumbnail and then start other activities i have like a couple of emails to reply we are officially like done with the first quarter of the year and my goal was to read six books at least tell me why i read i read four which is i'm not happy about it at all i'm not happy about it and the fifth one which is this one i still haven't finished it oh god i still haven't finished it and i'm not even like anywhere like i still have this to read and this is this i'm going to try and complete it then also i am studying to write my driver's license um test i have been prolonging this thing for the longest time i'm finally going to write it my goal is to start driving in canada by the end of this year that's my goal hey guys so we are going on a walk and we decided to go to anyway that i was saying so tv <laughs> anyway guys that i was saying i decided to go on a walk and I remember that I needed to print my police extracts that I'm going to use, or abstract, or whatever they call it, that I'm going to use for my driving license test. So I decided to go to walk. I decided to walk to the library, and somebody that was sleeping decided to go with me. So now we're going together, and it's like a 30 minute walk, 30 minutes going and coming back. This bus is making noise, and it doesn't want my vlog to be great. But I'm going to stop talking and just do some b-roll so that you guys can see what we're doing bye
you need to say I know it ain't easy living inside your brain for sure you keep telling me that it's all okay but I know yeah. hey guys um good <laughs> Hi guys, good afternoon. Um, this is a couple of, this is the next day actually, and a couple of hours or mini, I don't know, Isha, today is Wednesday, and I have retained my driver's license knowledge test, and guess who passed? Of course I passed. Anyways, I wrote my driver's test, I passed, alhamdulillah. Whoa. I have the temporary license it says the um the actual card comes in in three to four weeks i believe is what they said or three to six weeks which is so long and ridiculous but anyways it comes in and then i can so basically after getting your this is my g1 license you can get your um g2 license or your g license because i had my driver driving extract from nigeria i've been driving since i was 16 um oh no since i was 15 2017 i think yeah i've been driving since then so i have experience i can go straight and do my g license obviously people used to be like oh people used to fail g license but ugh, i'm not going to fail inshallah so basically what will happen now is you will go and i need to practice on the road to drive with my g1 i can drive but i can't drive alone in a car i need to have someone that has at least four years of experience with me in the car or i need to have a driving instructor in the car with me so i stopped at dollarama tell me why because it was me and aisha that went to the driving license place because she went to go and book her own driving um test or exam or whatever they call it she wanted to go and buy one thing from dollarama and i was like oh let's go i don't have anything we took an uber we went there tell me why i came back with a bag i didn't, i don't think i got anything unreasonable let me show you what i got so i got dishwasher um detergent because i have a dishwasher i've never used it and i'm always just wondering i don't know let's try and use it i got it so we can try it i got a new pack of cutting boards i also got um bar soap because the one we had had finished and then i also repurchased this vim this is what i used to wash my bathroom i really like it it's not like the smell is not toxic and it really gets the job done i got dishwashing sponge because i imagine he was complaining about my scrub daddy that he didn't like it i got um dishwashing detergent sunlight i also got um hand wash i thought i just thought this was really cute I took a parchment paper and then i also bought toothpaste because the one we had we were literally like it was it's holding on for dear life and i also got this because the one i had the mouth has removed and we tried fixing it but it wasn't fixed it wasn't fixable so i just got a new one and i got a bucket i was going to get a normal bucket and i saw this one <laughs> Like that, baby. <laughs> I'm not serious. I was going to buy a normal bucket, but I just did not want to have a bucket in my bathroom. Honestly, I feel like it just spoiled the aesthetic of the bathroom. And then when I saw this one, I was like, it's collapsible. So when I'm done, I can put it in the wardrobe. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hold on. Um, so today is um Today is Tuesday, 9th of April, the last day of Ramadan. I'm so excited. Today is the last day of Ramadan and today is my birthday. Ah! Guys, today is my birthday. Alhamdulillah, I am one year older. I turned 28 today and honestly, it's it's interesting. Guys, I've never really been one to hide my age because I mean, oops. <laughs> who so, like it's not that big of a deal like you are the age you are anyways i've never been one to hide my age and i actually like getting to the next age because what, what's the alternative you die <laughs> i don't want to die <laughs> so i rather like get to the next age so as i was saying i am excited about that my birthday actually i usually fast on my birthday even if it's not ramadan but for the past three years my birthday has fallen in the month of ramadan so it wasn't me having to do any extra Thing to fast I, th I believe this would be the last year my birthday is going to be in ramadan for a very long time because ramadan keeps moving like 
closer to January like with every time so I believe next year Ramana will start earlier than it did this year and so obviously this is going to be the last year my birthday is in Ramadan for a very long time I think today is also my younger sister's birthday because we share the same birthday April 9th me and Um Salma and yeah wish us happy birthday in the comments I will appreciate it but anyway just pray for me because I want prayers because you can never ever do with too much prayers Okay, so I just finished doing dishes. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry for the angles of this video, but I just finished doing dishes and I feel like I need to boil chicken, but I'm just so exhausted What's wrong to say I wouldn't change morning good morning good morning guys um Eid Mubarak today is the 10th of April Eid Mubarak guys I'm not fasting but I haven't eaten I woke up this morning like the same time I would wake up to pray like to hajjud and then pray my he prayer I did all of that tell me why my stomach is paining me I'm hungry but I'm, I'm like I just I just cannot bring myself to eat because it feels wrong but anyways i am whispering because abdulaziz is inside doing his medical classes stuff because the amount of medical hemorrhage and tracheotomy and all those things i've had and with the amount of grace anatomy i've watched at this point by the time he's writing his medical licensing exam I might as well just write it and become a doctor also. Oh yeah, what I did yesterday, I, I did the dishes and then I went out to go and buy some stuff. I like to marinate and prep before, if you're Nigerian and you prep for Eid, I feel like it, it doesn't even have to be Nigerian, you know that you have to prep the night before. So what I did was, I marinated my chicken, um, I boiled, and this is going to be for grilled chicken, and then I boiled and fry air fried my regular chicken to do pepper chicken and then i want to make jollof rice because i'm going to show you my jollof rice recipe let me tell you if you want to learn how to make jollof rice perfectly come to amina i'm the expert actually maybe not the expert but i like to make the easiest way for me is doing oven baked jollof rice simple easy no stress so what i did was i prepped the tomato paste yesterday i did the grilling in the oven blended it fried it so it's ready and then i'm going to make carrot cake and banana cake also it's currently 7 21 the mosque we're going to they have two um prayer times one is 9 a.m and one is 10 30 a.m ablaze's program is from 7 a.m to 9 a.m so we're not making the 9 a.m on we're going to go for the 10 30 a.m one and literally the mosque is like on the way the center where they are praying it we had literally a 30 minute walk from the house so i just told him i think we should walk there it doesn't make sense taking an uber for a four minute ride and then when you get there like the whole place because i've been there before like the whole place will just be packed you know, guys see this this is onion my husband does not like onion he gags at the sight of onion and it's so annoying because i'm a very very like heavy onion cooker 
and so now what I have to do is anytime I want to make because I feel like onion gives your food this flavor so now anytime I want to make um, food like when I was frying this tomato sauce I literally had to fry the onion in the oil pack all every single onion out and then cook <sighs> it's annoying but now who I marry with that midnight and city lights on the other side you calling me up at the same time I'm in the daylight you calling to say hi but your words they cry if there's something that you need to say I know it ain't easy living inside your brain for sure you keep telling me that it's all okay but I know yeah your silence speaks so loud Alright, um, so my pepper chicken is ready. I've made my bananas ripe. So tip, if you have unripe bananas that you want to be ripe or even plantain, it works for plantain too. Just put it in the oven for a couple of minutes. And I have my chicken currently in the oven grilling. So it's currently 8.30. I want to go and have my bath and make my hair. Midnight and city lights on the other side. You calling me up at the same time I'm in the daylight You calling to say hi But your words they cry If there's something that you need to say I know it ain't easy living inside your brain For sure You keep telling me that it's all okay But I know, yeah Your silence speaks so loud guys so food is ready i guess i made banana cake i made um little chicken pepper chicken and jollof rice the best jollof rice ever i am um, i have carrot cake in the oven now but guys i made a mistake i used i made a mistake with the flour and then i now let me show you So basically, I made a mistake with the flour and the sugar, and then now there's like too much flour, there's too much sugar. You know when they are baking, when there's sugar, it melts. So it's now making it extra. Hold on, let me see. I don't know if you can see it. Ouch! It's making it extra liquidy. So the top is already burning, but but the cake is still very much liquid. I'm pained because carrot cake is my favorite thing ever, and of all the days to mess it up yesterday. I cannot believe that we're late, but we're leaving now. Our Uber is here. We're supposed to walk because it's literally a 30 minutes walk, but we're late and our Uber is here and we're going now. Do what I'm wearing and I buy Come and show your way. Come and show. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah walk and go. <laughs> She's just wearing white. I'll be white. So we're going. Bye. I'll see you guys. We'll probably walk back home. Bye.